Hello guys, this is Vaish. Today is November 6, Saturday. So, uh, daily this is being continued now, almost uh, 6 days. And uh, it will continue based on your response as I told. The response has been very poor. So, if you are uh, not uh, intending to watch our free lectures, I will be shutting down all these playlists. Okay. You see here, this is like 60 views, 40 views, 50 views, 60 views. For this, uh, we can't put this effort. Okay. These teachers are working day and night for you people. So, in case you are not ready to watch this, even after watching, even if 40 views are there, uh, two comments will come one or two comments will come seven eight likes will come for this we can't put this effort okay entire thing will be shut down and put into a paid course so if you don't respond we are seriously telling that we will be shutting down this okay so because this involves effort okay hope you're understanding what i'm trying to tell editorial also if you see 200 300 400 people will see in two days which is also very very less and out of that people also you are so uh, thankless that you can't even come and like or comment means it is very uh, unfortunate to see okay so please see to it that if you need this kind of free lectures Please support us. Okay. This is a very sincere and final request to you. Because after this, then you cannot come and complain that we are not doing lectures for you. We will do lectures for you, but you have to support us. Okay. I am telling on behalf of all the faculty who is uh, working day and night. Okay. So, today's uh, Saturday's uh, one good thing is that uh, only one page editorial will be there. Second page, it will be just the uh, ground zero kind of article. Okay. This and all, if you don't know, that means you have not watched my foundational videos. And you are just a normal time pass aspirant who is not even ready to clear this exam or not even want to uh, clear it in the very first attempt okay in the foundational video where we tell how to read a newspaper i have explained what each page stands for so ground zero is something which comes on a saturday and there uh, some uh, case study kind of some example which happened will be given okay here in kerala or somewhere some uh, lady is uh, fighting for her baby who got uh, uh, like what to say baby baby was uh, taken by their parents and given somewhere else because it was out of a uh, some um, what to say not uh, normal relationship she had an affair with someone she had a kid and that kid was taken and given to someone else okay by the parents so that she is protesting outside the secretariat in Trivandrum. so that thing so this is of no use for your exam just for your english improvement sake or for a case study kind of thing for anything for social justice and all you can read this but else we will not be covering it and nobody covers it it's not important okay and in the first editorial page the main page which we have we have four articles out of which also if you see today only two articles are important and only those two will be covering this one is cost of prohibition if you see this is uh, Bihar uh, this liquor ban is there so people are uh, doing black marketing and then people are somehow consuming very poor quality liquor and all and many uh, people are dying many people are having blindness and many diseases they are getting because of consuming very bad poor uh, uh, black market liquor okay so that is not important for us and here keeping the faith is again about the uh, vaccine vaccine distribution is going on around everywhere you know but uh, the uh, uh, WTO sorry the uh, uh, WHO, the health organizations are not giving proper, uh, what to say, uh, speeding up the process or even if the approval process, it is not very fast. If you see Covishield also, we took, uh, I think, four weeks, eight weeks for them to give emergency approval. Then after that, Covaxin, which is India's own uh, Bharat Biotech thing, that also they took long time, 20 weeks or uh, many, many weeks they took. So that uh, they're telling, if you organizations don't speed up the things then it will be very difficult for everybody to get vaccinated faster so we are just keeping the faith so that kind of something covid shield covaxin approval thing they have told there's nothing else in that thing but these two are important one is mc12 which is the ministerial conference of wto which is very important and uh, that we will discuss and here we have a uh, climate related this is again a continuation of the panchamrit and the uh, cop26 which we have discussed in the last two three days so there they are discussing about the uh, uh, climate law. India needs its own customized new law which has very like too much power to take actions. Okay. So that is what is discussed. So these two articles we will discuss in detail today. Okay. And all these as I told is part of the uh, free initiative which we are doing. So if you don't support, I will be shutting down these one by one. Okay. Only the whatever is existing that and around 10 episodes I will complete and remaining you can study it yourself. Okay. So these are all the things which is there for different uh, prelims, mains, uh, previous year MCQs, essay, ethics, anything you think, CSAT, everything video is there. Okay. So if you don't watch it, you are going to lose it all. And these are the frequent questions. There are many people who don't watch this or listen to this and ask me very basic questions. We will not be able to have the patience to sit and chat with each and every one of you because we are catering to a larger audience, a serious audience who listens to us and watch the previous episode before coming to the next episode. Okay. So please see to it that you watch all this, listen all this and then only ask the question. Okay. You can contact me anytime in this WhatsApp or email ID. 24 hours you will get reply. So here if you see WTO, you know, World Trade Organization. So they have ministerial conference and that is the highest level of uh, decision making body they have. So there they will have conference and since many years they are having 1995 WTO was formed. So 96, 98, 99. These are my revision charts. Okay, this will be given to all my test series enrolled students and many, many charts. At least 300 charts are being given to the people who are enrolled. Others you can learn whenever I show you or if at all I show you. Okay, so this way 
this kind of meeting happen and each meeting they will discuss like electronic goods or agriculture or fertilizers or urea anything which needs to be like having subsidies or import duties export duties they will make decisions and they meet like every year they meet okay so what happens is every year or every two years okay every two years they meet earlier it was not like that. they will not have fixed time see 96 then two years 98 one year 99 but later later then it will become two year two year gap okay 2001 2003 2005 so this is Doha summit this Cancun summit the uh, Hong Kong instead of summit you should call it uh, MC okay ministerial conference so these things happen and important important things on those things I have mentioned here but that doesn't mean only these things were discussed here okay very important which UPSC have already asked in previous years that I have covered in this political revision chart I am not teaching you this this is just showing you a glance of what my students are getting okay so like this different different things happen and after that now the latest one if you see 2009 11 13 in Bali Indonesia also was a very revolutionary kind of summit okay and Nairobi Kenya came where also many Nairobi package and many things came then this Buenos Aires Argentina happened and after that you know because of COVID it was getting postponed 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 and latest update is it is happening in 2021 and this is happening in this month November month it is happening that is why today's first article is about this MC12 where uh, Kazakhstan is the chair okay even though it was planned to happen in Kazakhstan now because of the COVID situation all they are conducting it in Geneva Switzerland okay Geneva Switzerland is the place where maximum number of this thing happened if you see here above also Geneva Geneva is there and the starting also Geneva is there at least four or five times Geneva Switzerland the host uh, the venue has been okay so now it will happen in end uh, November end in uh, Geneva but chaired by Kazakhstan itself okay earlier location was Nur Sultan that is the capital of Kazakhstan okay hope this is the background you got it okay now we'll see the article so article is that this WTO this is going to happen as I told end of this month year and a half after uh, this was postponed due to the COVID situation and now obviously they'll take a lot of serious issues to be discussed in this okay in this uh, thing so they are telling here different things okay the trade the trade which is now down it will expand by 11% in 2021 and 5% in 2022 these are the WTO estimates okay and India uh, the domestic demand has not sufficiently picked up that's what uh, they are believing even though in like the recent Diwali sale and all if you see it's like record breaking kind of uh, demand okay. also the gold uh, purchase during Danteras this time was record breaking okay 7500 crore uh, this much of uh, revenue is going so domestic demand has obviously picked up but uh, still their estimates are telling that India and all uh, domestic demand has not yet picked up okay so that they will be discussing so they'll be revisiting all the trade rules and agree to on a work program meaning what should be the future what should be the like as it told in the table mc12 now they will bring out the clauses what all they should discuss so here they have told what all to be there earlier there was something called marrakesh agreement and all where again they are telling you should work towards everybody's growth everybody the weaker countries also can secure a, a share in the growth okay the ldcs that is the uh, low developed countries okay they, uh, they are have to have a share they also should have a contribution they should import export they should have a contribution to the overall global growth that is what they are trying to intend okay so now if you see the main issues they are going to discuss is like electronic uh, goods are there electronic commerce investment facilities fishery subsidies okay and the most important thing is the vaccines okay vaccines you know there's something called IPR intellectual property right meaning somebody designs a suppose a US company designs a new vaccine and it is like 100% efficacy full time meaning guaranteed that you will not get COVID after that such a thing suppose they design but that company will take monopoly they'll take monopoly and they will not give the uh, trademark or they will not tell her, like how it is made what is the uh, how you can speed it up they will just keep it to themselves and sell it at high price so that monopoly should be removed but in WTO there is a clause of intellectual property right so they actually have the right that uh, it's our choice we made it we will keep it okay so that is why it should be opposed so India and all has been trying to oppose it at least for the vaccine sake to speed up the process you have to oppose it okay so that is the uh, four or five points of discussion which is being uh, going to be done in WTO okay so IPR and vaccine issue first I told we have something called the TRIPS agreement under WTO okay which are acting as barriers as I told they are acting as barriers for this equitable access to vaccine because the monopoly right is there granted by the IPR okay people are having monopoly right so if you see the availability of vaccine is now a critical problem and people are not getting it only around 4.1 percentage of the population in low income countries have got even the first dose okay in India and all many people have got the first dose but in low income countries African countries and all very like 4.1 percentage people have only got it so to remedy this India and South Africa in October 2020 already oppose this they were telling like there should be a waiver for these kind of IPRs at least for health products technology diagnostics vaccines medical devices all these things the methods and means of manufacture it should not be monopoly and it should be given to everyone so that COVID-19 treatment can be done faster and the world can get rid of this okay so this is what India and South Africa proposed in October 2020 okay so now this proposal was supported by nearly two-third of the organization membership but it was opposed by 
who the developed countries because as i told usa or italy or japan whoever makes some new technology they are not ready to share it okay so now one hope is there okay glimmer of hope is there because the joe biden administration came and he gave limited support he kind of hinted that okay we will support the india south africa proposal but that also overall practicality and implementation it looks distant okay it won't be like very soon implemented and all but just a hope is there maybe uh, biden also will support this so we have to wait for that and also recently when the wto director general meeting something happened the director okay he was completely silent on this issue so they are telling this overall as vaccine uh, equitable distribution problem because of the ipr rights this is the very first topic now second topic fisheries and e-commerce okay so fishery subsidies giving fishery subsidies and all has been in talk since many uh, long time also there is again monopoly there also if you see the large large companies and all they have large licenses for large scale commercial fishing and also they go and do fishing everywhere and they are depleting the fishing stocks so this is affecting the smaller fishermen the smaller fishermen their livelihoods are completely dependent on that they are not having much fishes and sometimes you see in kerala and all or south tamil nadu these uh, fishermen uh, by mistake cross over to sri lankan border then they arrest them so because the fishes are not available the stock is not available because big big corporate companies are having the uh, rights to do fishing and they are depleting the stocks so this kind of things are happening so wto has to interfere and do some things that is the one of the thing also if you see another thing the taxation on companies if you see oecd and g20 these two had tried to introduce something called global minimum tax on digital companies okay like uh, google facebook on that uh, digital taxation that was a prelims topic last year already we covered so that's what i'm telling if you do enroll to my current affairs test series these are all are nothing to you okay these are already things which you know but if you are someone who doesn't enroll to anyone doesn't listen to videos regularly then every day you will feel like upsc is very difficult for me i am not able to understand anything what is this mc what is this wto if this is the rate you are preparing in the next 7 months you will not be ready and you will have to prepare for the year after that okay and if you continue the same pattern you will not be ready for that year also so please be serious this exam needs that seriousness and discipline so try to listen to what i am telling okay it's only for you are good this completely free take and learn okay so now again in 1998 okay as i told wto meeting happens uh, year after year so that time uh, something on electronics they had discussed okay they are told like there will be no imposing of custom duties on electronics transmissions okay electronic goods and all so that more uh, import export everything happened they did not impose any uh, duties okay so they are still following that in 2021 also also one thing is in 98 along this is okay but after that one more thing was there there was a comprehensive work program in which the development needs of developing countries will be taken care okay so this has to be taken care but in 2021 when we discuss now the electronic thing we are maintaining that is still there okay liberalization of goods data across this thing everything we are discussing but the developing countries specific thing is entirely missing okay they are just talking the general general thing headline headline thing but not going or going an extra mile to help the developing countries as such okay they are taking 1998 as the basis but the clause of development needs of developing countries is not being Uh, fulfilled okay that is what is told in this paragraph but other things as i told is there and this one moratorium as, as you told the uh, what is a freezing or blocking of the imposition of import duties agreed that is the basis that is still followed okay so that is there now again investment related there are lot of divisive issues people are telling okay if the provisions on investment some will have some idea some will have some idea so in doha conference doha is a place in qatar uh, so their uh, ministerial conference they uh, included something okay like uh, 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 investment some program okay but it was later taken out taken off because developing countries were not happy with what was the clauses of that so like that they are just telling there's no very specific detail given here but they're telling like a investment program was uh, planned in doha summit but after that it was taken off because the developing countries were not happy with that okay no one sided negotiations again they are telling here like uh, if you see the negotiations on e-commerce and investment facilities are being conducted not by a mandate given by the entire membership okay meaning you know wto there are a lot of members so whatever they discuss or whatever negotiating currently which is happening it is not like the entire people come together and decide something instead of having entire membership what is happening is there is something called joint statement initiative happening jsi that is maybe like five countries or 10 countries together will come and make something a section of the membership they develop some agenda okay then they will go and tell it to wto and they will give it how for the rest of the membership they'll tell like take it or leave it okay we are agreeing with this thing we are going to do this way if you want to take it leave it so meaning wto is not able to impose anything properly nobody is listening to wto always fights are going in wto so this is what is happening okay section of the membership is developing something and imposing it on the rest of the membership okay so india and south africa as i told when they opposed they opposed this also okay in submission against the jsis against the joint state decision that also india and south africa has told everybody should mutually decide something okay so that is the first article wto okay 
whatever uh, process is wrong in WTO they are telling, the fisheries, e-commerce, investment and IPR vaccine. Okay. Now the second article, COP26. This again, if you see in Vice Coast's channel, if you simply search Vice Coast Panchamrath, this video will come and see the views, 57 views. That means 57 you are only serious about this exam. Others are simply get when we when you get the video link from our whatsapp or if you have enrolled you are getting the notification you are simply ignoring so if this is the rate you are going to prepare i guarantee you that you are doing injustice to your preparation okay we are not telling that vaisha is alone will make you clear this exam but when someone is doing to doing something for you we are sharing the links on a day by day basis and if you simply ignore them you are doing injustice to your preparation Please see to it that you are among those serious aspirants who is really wanting to clear this year. Okay. Because these are all questions will come. Okay. When questions come that time, you, there is no point like, sorry, sir, I ignored your channel. Well, last year, I should have listened to you. That kind of messages we get every year. Please don't be that kind of student. Okay. So this go and watch it today itself. And this all the Panchamrit promises we have discussed. Why I am telling this? Because this next article, COP26 in India, they have started with that Panchamrit only. Okay. Glasgow, Scotland. Okay. Scotland is now in the news because of various reasons. So uh, Glasgow, uh, Scotland, if you see. Uh, the this thing uh, conference happened cop 26 happened so there modi suggested a panchamrit it's a very difficult kind of uh, national level contributions he's telling we will do all these things like uh, 50 percentage we'll do renewable share 1 billion ton of uh, reduction of carbon emissions we'll do by 2030 so very like impossible uh, kind of uh, things he has told which if it is done it is very good but it's a very uh, good way every country is appreciating it so uh, this is actually the practical implementation of the 2015 accord india is the only country actually who's uh, setting this kind of high level target it and trying to clean up this mess okay whatever climate change problem is there so now you know covid situation is there the natural disaster everything so now it has become a personal problem we have to clean up the entire uh, uh, this thing climate and environment and all else it is like a personal problem now okay so that they are telling different different things to be done okay and what india has to specifically do the author is telling one thing is you know 100 billion dollar the developed countries has to de give developing this is one of the clause under the paris accord but uh, the developed countries were not giving trump was not ready to give now after joe biden has come uh, he has told we'll uh, push in lot of money so if it comes it is good okay so and along with this thing we have to discuss nature based solutions we have to improve our uh, groundwater level we have to improve our ecosystems the wetlands the everything we have to do so there should be a national accountability so for that we are telling the author is telling there should be be a climate law okay now you will think like we already have a lot of climate laws but i'll explain you why okay few reasons for why we need a new more powerful climate law that is what is discussed in this article so current law and gap in currently what we have we have environment protection act we have air prevention control pollution act we have water prevention this and all we have but where is climate exactly this all is for things which is like air water and all but the climate change okay climate change which happens the cyclones which happen where are we dealing here if you take suppose a cyclone happen and impact happen so where are we dealing it in this environment protection act there is a clause 24 where there is effect of other laws meaning when something happens under that which a human created some problem okay then the person will be punished under the crpc code again there is no punishment directly returned under environmental protection act they are telling if something happens you will be punished under crpc act then what is the use of this act you can directly go crpc right so they're telling epa that is environment protection act is subordinate to every other law so then we don't have a very strong powerful climate law okay so this is the first reason current law is ineffective now, second, they are telling, as I told, not just technological we need, we need nature-based solutions. Okay. Like we told energy resources, we'll do renewable, carbon intensity will reduce. That is all fine. Okay. Which we, you need something to do, but you have to restore the existing thing, restore the ecosystem, reduce natural hazard, increase carbon sink, meaning you have to do protective things also, not the, uh, what something already happened and cleaning up is different thing. Okay. We tell no prevention is better than cure. So first you have to prevent by repairing all the existing things than curing what already happened. Okay. Then finally, the third one they are telling here, uh, India's situation is unique. Okay, we told, like as I told, 500 gigawatt by 2030, we are telling solar and all these things. But now where will you set up the solar plants, wind power and all? You will obviously go to deserts. You will go to, sorry, you will go to uh, grasslands. So when you go to all these places, there are critically endangered animals and birds there. So you will set up wires there, towers there, posts there. So it will affect those people also. Okay, so you need a proper climate action plan where all these things are taken into consideration. Okay, so main question if it comes, okay, India needs a strong climate law, just this is what you have to write this is what exactly UPSC ask also so that's why I'm telling please take this seriously make your own notes make your own answer you don't need any other coaching institutes to tell you anything then after that okay then now if you see create a commission they are telling okay we have a lot of national commissions and all but again a commission on climate change should be there institution which has the power and authority to issue directions and oversee implementation of plans and programs on climate okay 
and they should have quasi judicial powers powers of a civil court so that they should follow everything in letter and spirit okay they should follow whatever is written on paper in policy should be implemented as well and along with that they should be assisted with a technical committee also okay who will be in charge of all the uh, day to day functions or uh, like any any climate related obligations we have there should be always a technical committee to do the uh, ground level work or give suggestions so they are telling here suggest low energy pathway okay for whoever whichever institutions are now currently having a negative thing disproportionate impact so they should be given proper ideas okay so suggest low energy pathways now tracing the carbon footprints we already have bodies like bureau of energy efficiency or energy efficiency Lim service limited they are implementing various schemes if you know okay the street lighting the led they are doing various things okay for carbon efficiency there is there but you have to look beyond electronics also look beyond the bulb or lighting and all you have to do various other things also okay just not giving just the uh, the what to say the uh, mark which you give isi mark kind of thing or the electronic mark which you give that and all is fine but you have to do something else also they are telling failure in terms of ntpc also here some examples they are telling some uh, uh, coal wagons where uh, some uh, things were like fly ash and all you know it will be transported from one place to another so that and all was not covered as per ngt national green tribunal uh, it was not covered later supreme court passed an order and then only it was covered so like that's it's just an example okay like the examples they are suggesting like we have things in paper but we are not actually implementing it everywhere okay another example they have given is the uh, plastic ban okay you will simply announce that okay plastic ban from today don't use but are you giving any alternate for that instead of this one plastic what should you use it are you giving enough uh, stock or supply of the uh, less micron kind of plastic or sorry more micron kind of plastic or any other uh, uh, petroleum based uh, thing are you making it okay here they are telling it's derived from petrol any substitute at high scale are you providing it okay so if you don't do all this you simply put in paper people cannot people will not know what to do okay you have to give the solutions also not just tell like okay there is a problem we are cancelling it what is the solution for that that also the government has to do okay a need for accountability we have we have to have a legally enforceable national climate change plan okay again the same thing quasi judicial power and all these things because you know people sometimes disaster happens not just because of the actual rainfall or cyclone okay the ministry the government they will like uh, open the dam gates without telling the people or uh, they did not open it on time or they waited it for to uh, like the dam to break or crack even in kerala the mullaperiya issue going on every year so this kind of things happen so you have to punish them right you cannot simply tell it is an act of god it is not an act of god okay so courts are after after the thing happened courts are seeing it and telling like okay you hydro power company go and give this much compensation this much thing but by that time many people would have died many people would have lost their house so you have to start from starting again so this one is not enough okay you have to do something before the uh, problem happens okay because this fragile areas and all if you neglect all these things then it will be like something some things cannot be reversed okay if it's gone means gone people died means died so you have to have a thing which can prevent ideally prevent all these incidents okay so uh, climate uh, the final thing they are telling this only we should indianize the process by, by bringing in uh, a just and effective law with guts spine heart and most importantly teeth teeth means it should be more effective in giving punishment or giving any action it should not like okay now we will go and tell okay court they will do the remaining or the crpc law they will do the remaining it's not like that that commission itself whatever you set up the national climate commission should have all the legal powers to take action under its own bracket and then punish the people and also prevent future disasters okay so this is the entire thing discussed in this article so today as i told only these two articles are there which is important remaining i showed you it's not at all important you also don't have to read it okay so please whatsapp me and like and comment okay if you don't like and comment and if i am seeing that it is very less in comparison with the viewership then we are going to stop it and then please don't keep requesting okay we will not continue because it's not of any use to us we have to have mutual benefit with each other only then both of us will improve okay so please support us whatsapp me if any doubt is there we'll uh, try to support you based on your support to us thank you and have a nice day